In this video, I'm going to show you how the logistic growth model shows the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is a popular phenomenon that comes from chaos theory. The butterfly effect is this idea that if a butterfly flaps its wings in Mexico on Tuesday, it's going to affect the weather in Ohio on you know, 10 days from now. So small changes in one place can lead to big changes somewhere else. From chaos theory, the butterfly effect is more formally known as sensitive dependence on initial conditions. So small changes in your initial conditions can lead to big effects down the road. So let's look at this logistic growth model. And I'm going to run the model. And that has some pretty high predictability. So as the population grew exponentially, it grew and grew and grew until it started reaching carrying capacity, which is set at 200 right now. And when it reaches 200, it stays at that level uh, all the way until it reaches the end of the iterations at 50 generations, which is 200. Now I'm going to vary these initial conditions slightly to, let's say, 4. I'll run the simulation again. And surprise, surprise, it reached 200 just a little faster. But again, it grew to 200 and high predictability. So this does not show the butterfly effect. Uh, and there wasn't um, any large effect from a change in our initial conditions. However, let's ramp up our growth rate all the way to three. I'm gonna put our starting population back to two. And actually, I'm going to delete our previous two runs so that we can more easily see how this is going to work now. So now, what's happening here in our model is the population is growing really fast, and it grew over our carrying capacity of 200. That led to really negative growth, so our population went down, and then it's allowed to grow back up again and down. It grows real fast uh, over the carrying capacity, so it plummets back down and so forth. And it starts to have, it looks pretty predictable, but then it gets more unpredictable as time goes on. So, I, I'll run this model again, and you'll see that while this is chaotic, it is also deterministic. So there's not any random elements I've built into this model. It's just following a, a basic math formula, the logistic growth formula. But now, I'm going to vary it to 4. And you would think it's going to have close to the same, right? Well, let's look. And you can see this is following a very different pattern. It is having, it is this sensitive dependence. It's just varying by two individuals at the initial conditions. So you have sensitive dependence on initial conditions and following a very different pattern. Now you might think, well, if you run this again, it's going to have a different pattern. But no, it's going to follow the exact same pattern, which had very different results at the end. So at the very end, we have with four individuals, it was 191. And with two individuals, it was at 115. If we bump this to three, again, and it's getting really messy here, 
Uh, look, it at the end here, it is 106, but it's following a very different pattern. So you have this sensitive dependence on initial conditions, and that is the butterfly effect. Hope you enjoy it.